Doctor, taking some uh, incoming from the insinuation that Barack Obama may be sympathetic to Muslim terrorists. We talked about this a little uh, recently on this program. I don't think you believe that he's a quisling, that he's someone who is, wants Islamic terrorism to prosper. You don't believe that, do you? I don't believe it. I do say, though, when I see a deal like was made with Iran, this horrible, horrible deal where we're giving them back $150 billion, to the best of my knowledge, and I tell you what, I've studied that thing pretty closely. We're getting almost nothing out of it. They're going to end up with their nuclear weapons and lots of other things, whatever they want. And then I see the way he treats Israel. I say, wow, what's the, uh, this seems to be a double standard. I'm not happy about it. A lot of other people aren't happy about it. I can tell you the people in Israel are not happy about it. So I look at things and I see what's going on, and I'm a common sense person, uh, and I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Well, the Iranian deal is geopolitics, and he believes that he's going to keep uh, Iran from getting the nuclear device, but we'll see down the road. But your insinuation after, after Orlando was a little bit per more personal than that. And remember the background, because you were a birther guy, you didn't believe or you questioned his birth certificate uh, where he was born, and now you're saying um, in so many words, and I don't want to put words in your mouth so you can clarify, that look, there's something more here than just President Obama seeing the world in a non-confrontational way. There might be a personal agent here. Is that on your mind? Well, it bothers me when he's afraid or doesn't want to mention the words radical Islamic terrorism when obviously But he says it doesn't it do was. any good and to do that. It doesn't influence well, I disagree his policy. With him. I disagree with him. And then they, you know, they uh, redact a lot of the different uh, statements made by this thug, this horrible guy that killed all of those people. And it's a, you know, it's a disgraceful thing. So I disagree. You know, if you have a problem, you have to be able to speak openly about the problem. This is a problem. This is a real problem. This is a worldwide Sure, sure. And that's the difference too, between here. you and not only President Obama, but Hillary Clinton, who's, you know, you, you've brought her a little bit more. But you're kind of dodging my question, and you don't usually do that. Do you believe there's a personal component inside the president's personality? that sympathizes with the Muslim world and doesn't want to taint the Muslim world with terrorism? Is that what it's about? I don't believe anything. I see things, and whether it's the Iran deal, whether it's not wanting to mention the words radical Islam or radical Islamic terrorism or other things, Bill, you look at what's going on. I mean, it's not a question of what I think. Uh, but you look at facts. This isn't uh, this isn't thinking. This is facts. And, I know, but you go you know, to motive. And I really believe this, Bill. I really believe it. No, I have no motive. I don't care. Not your Bill. motive. I'm talking about motive. his motive. If he were great, let me tell you something. If he were a great president, a great great president, and you know that's not going to happen, I would be so thrilled. If our real employment was at five percent or four percent or three percent, I would be so thrilled. But it's not. Our country is in a horrible position in so many ways, whether it's manufacturing, which is just fleeing. Our companies are fleeing our country with jobs. You look at what's going on with this country. It's, it's, it's really sad. All right. All right. And so then you, know, you have you... what happened. Well, well, wait, Bill. I look, at, I look at what he does, and I look at what he says, and I look at what he doesn't say. Why isn't he willing? How do you solve a problem if you're unwilling to discuss it or unwilling to name it? Okay, now, he she's says all of a sudden, that it doesn't have anything minute, to do. Bill. He'll drop the drones on him. He'll do what he has to do. But, okay, motive is always hard. Well, you're always complaining. Hey, Bill, 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 one second. You're always complaining. He's not strong enough. He's not going in. He's yes, not that's eradicating a problem which is always getting worse. That's so, my So, you opinion. know, drones are one thing, but drones are not going to solve the problem. And okay? I agree drones with that. Gonna, I've been very tough spots, on him, as you have in this arena. Yeah, well, a lot but of I'm trying people, to figure out. A lot of other people agree with